Welcome to the Vikings Now. I am your host, Patrick Seatman. So excited to be joining you guys on the last Sunday without Minnesota Vikings football until February, or the last Sunday without NFL football until February. Obviously, the Vikings will have that bye week, but we're a week away. We are one week away from the Vikings home opener and season opener versus the Green Bay Packers. So I thought no better way than to celebrate being a week away than having a very positive and optimistic video for you guys. So I cooked up five dream scenarios, five scenarios if they happen and if they play out in this Vikings 2022 season, the Vikings will be successful and us fans will be saying like, damn, that happened. That led us to have a good year. But before we kind of hop into this, shout out to play-by-play -play announcer, Paul Allen. I want everybody to kind of Take a sip of purple Kool-Aid a little bit. These are very optimistic, very positive scenarios. There's going to be no real negativity in today's video. We're keeping it positive. You know, we're a week away. I want to keep the keep the vibes high, keep the mojo going. You know, you know, I feel like every NFL team, every NFL fan, when they're a week away from the season, everybody's thinking about the most positive outlook. So I kind of got in my bag and cooked up five dream scenarios for you guys so drink the purple kool-aid before we get started and then also one more thing before i get into the five dream scenarios we're only 10 subscribers away from 40 or 5500 subscribers so i'd really appreciate if there are 10 of you guys out there who are not subscribed to the channel yet hit that subscribe button best way to kind of get this video out to more and more vikings fans youtube will recognize you going down there clicking that big red button and they'll be like oh damn he really likes this channel. He really liked that video. I'm going to push it out to more fans, more true Vikings fans. And I really want to start growing this Vikings community because I know it's big. I know it's strong. I know it's loud. And I love hearing from the pulse of the Vikings fan base. So we're 10 subscribers away. So I'm calling you guys out. There are 10 of you guys who aren't subscribed watching this video. You know, I'm making this video on my off day. I just had to get on here. I have that itch right now to talk Vikings with you guys. And I'm sure you guys have that itch to watch the Vikings play next Sunday. So if you aren't subscribed yet, go down there and just hit that subscribe button. Really good way to help me out. But enough of, enough of that. Let's get into my five dream scenarios. I'm going to start off with number one, obviously. My number one dream scenario, if I could pick anything throughout the entire Vikings season, it's this. Daniil Hunter and Zadarius Smith stay healthy. I'm not saying they have to play all 17 games, but if they both play 15 plus games each this year, I think that would be probably the number one factor into the Vikings having a good season. You'll get the Vikings the past couple years. With losing Daniil Hunter, the pass rush just hasn't been there. If you're looking kind of at the landscape, too, of the NFL, if I had to list probably my two most important positions, obviously number one is quarterback, but number two might be edge rusher. I think edge rushers play such a key factor into a team being successful in the NFL. And when we have two premier edge rushers that do have some health concerns in the past, but if they stay healthy, having Darius Smith, Daniil Hunter, you know, meeting at the quarterback, think it could be really special. I think they're also probably the most underrated pass rush duo in the entire NFL. I feel like when people are talking about like, oh wow, like Chandler Jones and Max Crosby, they paired up this offseason. You know, Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa, they paired up this offseason. Nobody really talks about Daniel Hunter and Zadarius Smith. I think they'll kind of make their names known week one against the Packers. I could see them having a sack each, but I want to ask you guys this before I get into the rest of them. How many sacks combined? I want to know from you guys. Do you think Daniel Hunter and Zadarius Smith will have this season combined? Do you think they're combining for 35 sacks, 30 sacks, or are they going to both have 20 plus and combine for 40 if you're really feeling it right now? Get down in the comments and let me know. My second dream scenario is Kirk Cousins plays at and Kirk Cousins plays at an MVP level. And I know a couple of you guys might have been taken away. Kirk playing at an MVP level. Pretty much my thought process for this was that Matt Ryan Atlanta Falcons year where they had a ton of weapons on the outside and they just needed a quarterback to get the ball out on time and with accuracy and with precision and Matt Ryan excelled with that. I think Kirk could do a very similar job. I think Kevin O'Connell coming in here being this very quarterback friendly offense that he has, I think we could see Kirk Cousins really step up and play at a similar MVP level that Matt Ryan did. Obviously, Kirk's not one of those guys that's going to take your roster to another level. But if you have talent around him, and if you have enough playmakers like the Vikings do, I think Kirk can put up MVP type of numbers. And then if the Vikings are winning, 
12, 13 games this year, his name will be talked about in that MVP conversation. I think it's just natural if your team has a successful year throwing the ball across the lot, which I think the Vikings will. And with the weapons we have in Thielen, KJ, and Jefferson, Kirk's going to rack up a ton of numbers. And I think of another dream scenario could be Kirk playing at an MVP level in this next upcoming season. Now, this is probably my most important dream scenario. It's Cameron Dantzler looks like a true cornerback one. He looks like a true number one corner on a championship team. Cameron Dantzler the past couple years, I've always said this, and my eye test has always kind of told me this. He's always in the right position, it feels like. He's always kind of step for step with the receiver whenever it's in a man-to-man. It's just he always seems to get dunked on or mossed. Like, I know what kind of seen that is kind of a half-ass analysis of Cameron Dancer's play just off my eye test, but I really do feel like he's always been foot for or step for step with receivers. It's all about finishing the play. And I think that could come with confidence in this new system, confidence from Ed Donatell and Mike Pettin, giving Cameron Dancer the confidence he needs to take his game to another level because he does have all of the attributes you want he's six foot one six foot two really long arms put on a good amount of muscle in the offseason and he's sort of taken a little he's developed each he's developed a little bit in each offseason so i'm excited to see what he'll do with another offseason under his belt but i do think that would be huge for the vikings if Cameron dancer goes out there looks like a true cornerback one and pat Pete can kind of take the step back and hand the torch off to Cameron dancer being the top corner on this Vikings roster. Let me ask you guys this though. Do you believe in Cameron Dantzler? I want you guys to type Y for yes and for no. I, I'm i leaning yes right now. I just think with the new offense or new coaching staff coming in, it will instill confidence in them. But get down in the comments. Do you believe in Cameron Dantzler in this next upcoming season? And now here's my fourth one. Kind of an easy one. This is not really me. A dream scenario. It's not really a bold take out of me, but Justin Jefferson dominates in the Cooper Cup role. Jefferson's been talking about it all offseason, how excited he is to get the ball in different ways and just to kind of excel in that Cooper Cup role. I mean, I think we'll see Jefferson out of the backfield in the slot at the X spot. He'll be playing all over the field, and I think Kevin O'Connell will find multiple ways to get him that 12 to 15 targets per game that Cooper Cup was getting. And I think normally in the NFL, year three for receivers is kind of that pop year. You know, Jefferson obviously came out and popped the first two years, but could we see him take it to another level and get an 18-yard season, a 1,800-yard season? I think it's possible. I want to know what you guys think, though. How many yards? I would love to know this. Prediction time. You know, crystal ball this. It's week 18. The Vikings are the number one seed, and we're like, damn, Jefferson really just had 1,800, 1,900 yards. Get down in the comments. Let me know how many yards do you think Justin Jefferson will have this season now my last one dream scenario number five the vikings win the nfc north if there was ever a year for them to dethrone green bay with the combination of talent on this vikings roster and the combination and i guess the subtraction of Devonte adams from that packers roster I think it could be the perfect storm. I am scared because I think people are starting to count out the Packers a little bit, and that defense is nasty. It's tenacious. It's going to be one of the top five defenses in the NFL. And if you could tell Aaron Rodgers, hey, get to 21 points, our defense will hold it down. It is a scary sight, but I do believe weapons play a huge factor in today's modern game, modern day NFL game. Vikings have them. The Packers don't. I think Kirk's going to shake this narrative off him. And I think my last dream scenario is the Vikings win the NFC North. If you made it all the way to, to the end of today's video, your real one, comment down below, real one. I've been kind of starting that on the channel the past couple of days, and I love seeing the real ones in the comments. This kind of shows me like, yeah, this guy, he just watches this video from start to finish. It's it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. But like this video too, if you do think the Vikings are going to win the NFC North, those are my five dream scenarios for this 2022 NFL season. Let's go Vikes. We're a week away. I can't wait. See you guys next time.